Hey guys, William here, and it is Friday. It's just about noon. I wanted to show you another one of what I believe is their tactics. Uh, they being the ones who are trying to undermine our society, uh, trying to divide us, trying to conquer us in many different ways. Um, and they do this with their agenda and fiscally. Um, you know, not only through different pressures and religion and science um, and all these other different control methods, but they do it fiscally and through fears and legislation. So I've long said that one danger is the southern border. I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com at Glenn Spencer's Ranch in Hereford, Arizona. We just now got back from the flight that he took us up on in a single-engine Cessna where he showed us what he promised, mind-blowing stuff across our borders right now. We're going to show you the footage of what we saw and explain to you what it is, what Glenn's telling us it means, because he is the leading expert on the border in this area. He has been covering this for 22 years. All the stuff that he has predicted and said would happen has happened. Um, what you can see right behind me is a pretty, you know, regular size fence. And there's that here for a little bit. But once you get a few more miles up this way, what we saw was just crazy. What the Department of Homeland Security, what our government is telling you, they, they say that there's a fence up. So when they get in front of a press conference and they say something, they can feel good about themselves they can feel like they're not lying. But their idea of this huge fence that's really going across our border is a lot like what you saw yesterday. It's so easy to step over. It is so easy to get through that without anybody knowing you. Once we got a few miles up the road right up here, when we were flying down, you get over this little mountain ravine and you don't see anything at all. There's just open areas for miles we flew for 30 minutes there was not one border patrol vehicle in that area whatsoever but one of the things we saw when we first took off was a brand new 30 million dollar border patrol facility that they have here in bisbee this is just crazy you know what glenn was telling me is that that 30 million dollars could have been used to put up the fence that they're saying that they're going to have to support us to help protect us from all the stuff that's happening. But they're not doing that. Instead, they're wasting our tax dollars on this fancy facility that doesn't even need to be there. It's ridiculous. And all you'll see for 30 minutes we saw just flying over the over Arizona and Mexico was just something literally waist high that you could just step over and you're home free. If that doesn't just blow your mind, I don't know what else can. Our government is purposely doing this right now. You know, we saw earlier a fence that they put up. They spend $3 million every mile to put up a fence, and all they did was raise it up, put the pins in. This stuff is everywhere. Anybody can come through. And people say, oh, that's racist to say something like that. No, no, no. No, it's not. Because you don't know who comes into Mexico, and then you don't know who comes from Mexico into our country. Because our borders aren't secure. You need to call people who are in charge we need to get a hold of the people of the white house we need to do something because this is horrible the stories that we heard from the ranchers here are mind-blowing about the things they see the people coming through the smuggling they use these little trenches and ravines that come through under the border and hide and there's trees and stuff you're not going to see that they put up some fancy camera every now and then the border patrol does Half of them don't even work, and if they do, they can't see someone walking through that little area. And flying overhead, what we saw is it's so easy to have cover and concealment and never be seen by all this money they're wasting on these stupid cameras that don't do anything. We don't have enough Border Patrol on our borders. Sending military out here is really not the answer. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, you know, that's, that's pretty much... I only intended to show you about the fence, you know, all the, do the cameras work and this and that, that's a bit subjective, right? You know, my big thing is there's no fence for a good portion of that. And yet they spend all the money on a new facility. Facility is secondary fence and what they claim is primary. Um, 
it's just kind of ridiculous. I've I've got another video to show you. It's about the open gates and uh, the refugee problem that could be facing our country. So, guys, thanks again. Love your comments below. What do you think about this lack of fence? Um, do you think it's because of the terrain? Um, what do you think about this other fence that he says is waist high and easy to like, step over? Looks kind of like a normal cattle fence, but it's hard to tell because of the angle. What do you think? So please comment below. Let me know. And uh, I'd like to hear from you guys. Thanks again.